Hello, I'm Lawrence and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond and one of those memos pertains to knowledge. Specifically, general knowledge about each other's country. And as somebody who's quite curious about stuff, I like to think that I developed a decent bank of knowledge about Britain while growing up there. But what about America? I've lived here for more than 14 years. Surely it stands to reason that I know more about the United States than I would have had I not moved here. And so, at the risk of looking stupid, again, I, Lawrence Brown, before your very eyes, am going to take a quiz put together by Britannica about the United States. But, before I do that, I urge you to pause this video and take the quiz yourself. I don't know why the fingers are still up. Just click on the link in my description, take the quiz, and we'll compare notes in the comments section below. Just a quick heads up that it is multiple choice, which is good news for me, because when I'm not given the answer choices, I do crumble under pressure. That said, you do only get 10 seconds to answer each question, so without further ado, here's my attempt at the quiz. And yes, I did lose my beard, get over it. How many colleges and universities make up the Ivy League? I don't know, uh, uh, six? Eight. Well, I didn't know that before I moved to the US and I didn't know it today, but I know it now. Which American state has the most interstate highway kilometers? It's gotta be Texas. Gotta be, it's huge. It is. That was a guess, but it was an educated one. Which university was founded as the College of New Jersey in 1746? Oh, it's gotta be Princeton. Yep. Wouldn't have known that one. Which American city's nickname is Iron City? I do know that one because I've been there. It is Pittsburgh. Look at that. Again, wouldn't have known that before I moved to the US. I thought it was the Steel City. What is the central banking authority in the US? It's the, the Federal Reserve System. I just know that because of conspiracy theories mainly. Which river is considered the lifeline of the Southwest? Looking at those, it has to be the Colorado River. Didn't know that nickname, but the rest of those aren't really in the Southwest, are they? All right, good. How many states are there in the United States of America? This is one I've known my entire life, or at least until I learned to read. It's 50. Who was the first US astronaut to travel in space? It was Alan B. Shepard Jr. I know that because I wrote a little play a few years ago, many years ago, about the Russian side of the space race. Bet you didn't know that about me. It's not on the internet, so don't search for it. And it's crap. Who was the only woman to design an official state seal? Uh, looking at these, I don't think it was Georgia O'Keeffe. So I'm going to go with Mary Cassatt. Oh, it was Emma Edwards Green. Well, I know that for future reference now. See, this is the thing you learn as you go. The name of which state is derived from the Shoshone phrase, meaning gem of the mountains. This has to be Idaho because I did quite a bit of work in Idaho when I was a full-time employee. My clients were based in Idaho and some of them lived in the city or town of Shoshone. And so I just knew that from that. It's great. This is like Slumdog Millionaire, but like the English version in America and with no monetary prize. Name the first national park established in the United States, it's Yellowstone National Park. I think it was the first in the world, wasn't it? Who designed the most famous Uncle Sam I Want You poster? I don't know. Please be James Montgomery Flag. It was! That was a guess, I have to say, but I just saw the word flag and thought, well, that sounds patriotic. In what year was the New York Stock Exchange created? It was in the 19th century, but I don't know how early. I'm going to go with 1875. Oh, it was 1817. Uh, which uh, state was once called Deseret? Probably Utah, just because it's a big, huge desert. That's correct. What is the American state with the fewest counties? It's Delaware. It has three. I remember re the, there's like one there, one there, and one there. Which iconic figure was associated with female defense workers during World War II? Uh, Rosie the Riveter. The, you know, I can't do it and I don't have the headscarf, but that was more or less accurate. Which American state was the first to ratify the federal constitution? Oh goodness. Was it Pennsylvania? I'm gonna go with it. I ran out of time. It was Delaware. Delaware with its three counties was the first. Unbelievable. The crossroads of America is the motto of which American state? I'll be killed if I don't get this right. It's Indiana. I lived there for eight years. Which American city was historically known as New Amsterdam? That is New York City. I don't think I knew that before moving to the US. Or maybe I did. I don't remember. In which year did the United States enter World War I? Uh, 1917. Better late than never, obviously. What is the capital of the United States? It's definitely Washington DC. What is the longest tributary of the Mississippi River? I know for a fact it is the Missouri, which I think by most calculations is in fact the longest river in the United States, isn't it? In which American city was the world's first domed air conditioned indoor stadium built? I do not know. Chicago, why not? It was Houston. Oh, was it the Houston Astrodome? I mean, it is, it's the Astrodome. Yeah, I've heard of that. What is the minimum age necessary to be eligible for membership in the US House of Representatives? Oh, it's in the 20s. I think it's 25. 
because somebody just recently did that, didn't they? Semper Fidelis is the motto of which military service? Ooh, the Navy. It was the Marine Corps. So you learn something new every day. Which state's name comes from an Algonquin word meaning land of the long tidal river? It's gotta be Mississippi, right? Mississippi River? It was Connecticut. Who is the first Chief Justice of the United States? Oh goodness, Earl Warren. Uh, I'll go with Earl Warren, first thing up. John Jay. On which river is Washington DC situated? It is the Potomac. I've been on it, it was very choppy and cold. And I got to see Mount Vernon. Lots of lines and queues. Not all that fun, to be honest. Which of these is not an American national park? Disneyland. Which of these is the highest civilian award in the United States? The, it's gotta be the Presidential Medal of Freedom. It is. All right, good. I thought it was. What are Lakes Superior, Michigan, Huron, Erie, and Ontario? They are the Great Lakes, not the Greater Lakes. Don't make that mistake. That rhymes. Which was the first state in the US to be carved from the Northwest Territory? Oh, Michigan. It was Ohio. Probably should have known that as a Midwestern boy. Which was the first official uh, national flag of America? Stars and bars are stars and stripes. In which state will you find the natural park known as the Garden of the Gods? Oh goodness, uh, Wyoming has a lot of parks. It was Colorado. Which state did the United States purchase from Russia? It was Alaska for very small amounts of money, wasn't it? It was Alaska, apparently it was 7.2 million. Some footballers go for more than that. Uh, what was the first steam-operated railway in the US to be chartered as a common carrier of freight and passengers? Oh, the Baltimore and Ohio? It was, I knew it was one of the Eastern ones, it had to be. Uh, how many stripes does the American flag have? It's 13 for all of the original colonies. Again, wouldn't have known that at all before I moved here. How many members are there in the US Senate? It's uh, two for each state, so it's 100, yes. Uh, which is the largest state in the New England region of the United States? It's Maine, I've been there twice. In which state would you find the Everglades? Florida, I've been to Florida once, but not the Everglades. In which American city is the Miss America pageant held annually? I don't have a clue. Probably Atlantic City, because it sounds like the sort of thing they do. It is, all right, great. Uh, in which state is the Painted Desert located? Oh, probably Arizona or Nevada. Go with Nevada, go on, go on, do it. It was Arizona, it was definitely Definitely one of the desert states. What is the largest river that flows into the Pacific Ocean from North America? It's got to be Columbia. It is, yeah. Okay, had to think about that one. I'm just thinking geographically. For some reason, since I moved to the US and just became the person that I am and doing the job that I do, I've learned a lot about American waterways. Don't know why, just appeals to me. Which university was founded as King's College in 1754? Oh, Stanford. It's Columbia University. I'm such a fool. Who appoints the director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation? Surely the president. President, we'll go with it. Yes, that was a guess. Which is the only state in the United States to be split into two large land segments? Michigan. Yeah, right near me, just up north. Uh, which was the 50th state to join the United States? Ooh, it was either Hawaii or Alaska, and I can't remember in which order. I think I'll go with Hawaii. It was, good, well remembered. What was the first zoo in the US? Philadelphia, quick guess. Oh, it is. I've got Pennsylvania on here, so that was it tied into that. I've never been, though, to the zoo. What is the smallest state by area in the US? That's Rhode Island. What is the oldest institution of higher learning in the United States? I think it's Harvard, isn't it? What is the largest man-made reservoir in the US? Oh, goodness. Oh, probably Lake Mead, because I've heard of it. It was. What is the highest peak in the 48... Cunt What's that say? Conterminous US states. Oh, goodness. Elbert. Whitney. Okay, I was trying to think of Denali, but that's in Alaska. Were they trying to say contiguous? Is, is that another word? Coterminous. I've never seen that word before. Put me off. Uh, how many states are included in the New England region of the US? Ooh, it's, I think it's six. It's not as many as you might imagine. Yeah, it's six, so good there. American writer Henry David Thoreau immortalized which pond in Massachusetts? You, you'd think I'd know this. Big Sandy Pond, Walden Pond. All right, sorry, didn't know that. What was the boundary between Maryland and Pennsylvania originally called? That is the Mason-Dixon line. That's something I learned about since doing this channel. Who was the first American to orbit the Earth? There's another space one, it was John Glenn. And he went into space twice, didn't he? Much later on in his life as well. If you are visiting Death Valley in which you US state will you be? You will be in California, which has also recorded, I think, the hottest temperature in human history. Well, Earth history, it's not just humans. Heat. 
that we have to deal with. It's all sorts. Birds have to, and they probably die. It's just sad. It's not what you want to hear while you're listening to somebody do a quiz, so let's move on to the next question before it gets too morbid. Which national park is located in Lake Superior? I do not know. Oh, Great Sand Dunes National Park. Can't be right. Why did I do that? That was stupid. It's Isle Royale National Park. Didn't know that one. Which of these monuments is located in South Dakota? That's got to be Mount Rushmore National Park. Mount Rushmore. Can't speak today. And which state did Edward Kennedy represent as a US senator? That was Massachusetts. That's the last one. That's the last question. How did I do? Let's see my results. Ooh, 45 out of 60. There's no way that I would have done that when I still lived in England. Most of these I wouldn't have known at all. In fact, can we do a little tally of how many I probably didn't know before I moved to the United States? Sure thing, Lawrence, according to my calculations, you would have got about 40 wrong when you still lived in England. Which means that just by being here through osmosis, you've improved your American general knowledge by about 40%. As for you watching, let me know in the comments below how you did on the quiz. I'm Lawrence Brown. You can follow me on Twitter at Lost in the Pond US. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that I don't have to. A massive thank you to my patrons, who I undoubtedly acquired much of this knowledge from on my secret live streams. If you would like to become a patron of Lost in the Pond, you can do so today at patreon.com slash lost in the pond. Until the next video, goodbye.